Okay, in this video we're going to talk about how to approximate the solutions in the interval. And this is for a trig equation. So what they're saying is, what are the possible solutions between negative 180 degrees and positive 180 degrees, negative pi to pi if we're talking radians. So whenever I do this, I need to make sure, first of all, that my, my calculator is in radians mode. So I'm going to go to mode, and I check that, and look, it's in radians, so I'm good to go. And what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to say this over here is going to be y1, and the right side of my equal sign is going to be y2. I'm going to graph both of these lines. And so if I do that, y equals y1 is x, and y2 is 2 sine of x. I'm in radians mode. Before I go any farther, I need to adjust my window. Now I'm going to do this by changing my values from negative pi, enter, to positive pi, because that's all I'm interested in, right? This interval. They tell me that. My scale, I mean, you can change it to whatever you want to. I guess you can change it to like pi over 4 or something like that, a fourth of a pi. That way you have about 8 tick marks. My y values, I'm going to go from like negative 4 to 4. That'll be good enough to see everything we need to see. And my tick marks are going to go by 1. So here we go. Let's graph it. Here comes y equals x. There it shows up. Here comes 2 sine of x. And I can see that they meet in three locations. The three locations that they happen to meet at, now approximate means we're going to round it to like a decimal. We're going to get a decimal answer here. But I can see that they meet right at 0, right? So I'm going to put 0 as one of my solutions. x can be 0. That's the middle one. But it's also going to have two others. So I'm going to do second. I'm going to go into the calculation menu. I need to do a calculation. And during that calculation, I want to find the intersection. So I hit Enter. I'm going to scroll over to around where they meet up over here. I'm going to hit Enter, 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 Enter. And it tells me the first solution is at negative 1.895. So let's say, I don't know, three decimals. That would be good enough. That's an approximation. My second one is at zero. The third solution is over here. So I'm going to do it one more time. Second calculate, find the intersection. And I just need to scroll to the right until I get around that intersection point. I hit enter, enter, enter. And it looks like the second one as, oh, look at that, 1.895. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to write this as plus or minus. And that'll get both of them out of the way. There are the three solutions. 0.1 plus or minus 1.895 and 0. Now let's do the same thing over here on the left, or excuse me, on the right. This equation here, y1 is going to be one of the values, one of the sides of the equation, and y2 is going to be the other equation. In fact, you know what? I'm just going to switch them backwards. I've already, you know, never mind. I erased it. So, 4 cosine x, and the second equation is just x. I'm going to graph those. Here comes the 4 cosine. And here comes the x. And I can see that they meet up in two locations. So to approximate those, I'm going to go second calc intersect. I'm going to scroll to the left here until I get to the uh, around the intersection point. Enter, enter, enter. Negative 2.133 is the first answer. And the second answer is going to be second calc intersect. Oops. Calc option 5. I'm going to hit the down button to go up the curve here instead. It's going to go a little bit faster. Close enough. Enter, enter, enter. 1.252 is the second solution. So approximate is pretty nice because these problems go fairly quickly. We're just giving a decimal answer instead of something in terms of pi, and we're only worried about the interval between answers between negative pi to pi. So that tells us our window, what we need to do for the x values.